Hey everybody, Andy Vidot from Atri Real Estate. I'm um, just here at a new listing, which is 15 Napoli Ave in Piara Waters. Um, now this is a fantastic location. Um, if we first of all just have a look directly behind us and, and to the end there, um, you can see the new Piara Waters High School going up. Um, so really pretty much just in walking distance from that school, but still far enough away from it to be out of the hustle and bustle of kids drop off, etc. Um, so yeah, this is a beautiful home. Um, it's on 539 square metres of land, uh, four bedroom, two bathroom, double garage, um, and immaculately presented with high quality features and fittings. So come through, let's have a look. Um, first of all, as you can see, it's quite a wide driveway, all fully um, aggregate um, through there. You've also, as you can see, you've got these uh, poles on top of the pillars there, um, which actually are sail shade. So you, there's a big sail shade that goes up here as well, which is also part of the sale of the home. So if you've got extra cars in here, you've got them protected from the from the weather, etc. Um, you can see the garden's really sort of very much low maintenance, easy care, um, but looks really good as well. A lot of effort and um, you know heart and soul being put into this from from the current owner, which you can see the just the, the feature of it all and you know there's a bit of design there as well. Um, we'll just head through this way just quickly before we head on inside. Um, so you can see as we come around to the side of the home just from the front here there is quite a wide gate access through there which is really convenient for um, well, for access. Um, so yeah so that's that there. Um, as you can see through the front all the all the front windows there are tinted as well at the moment. Um, so what we'll do, we'll head on, head on inside, have a bit of a look. Uh, just little features, like obviously finished well. So you can see the, you know, this pillar's all, all in, you know, nice tiles. Um, you've got, as well as your, your outdoor lighting, you can see along the eave there, there is some down lights as well. Um, and then even to the extent of the little cutouts that um, as we enter the home, you've got down lights sort of top and bottom as well. So you imagine at night, this would be really nice sort of feature through there. The other thing I like about this, it, it is a um, super wide door, um, but it does have the um, security or crim mesh sort of, um, you know, screen on there as well. But the other thing they've done, which is really good, which I don't see a lot of, is they've actually got that clear window up at the top as well. So what happens there, it still lets that natural light through the home, um, where some foyers of the homes, when it's nice and light, but when the door's shut, that's all bricked in and um, can be very dark in there. So by having that up there, really nice to um, let that natural light through. So come on in, let's have a look. So as you walk through, there is this little foyer sort of area, which is really nice. Uh, there is also a security system throughout the home. Um, also the, the door handle is either um, fingerprint activated or code activated. Um, and it's nice just to have this space that, you know, feels like you're, you're in part of the home. And, and I love this as well. As we walk through, first room in, in the property is the study, which is, is a good size study as well. Um, has your um, plantation style shutters right throughout as well um, with small windows. So you can be sitting here working, um, have these open as well and sort of see out into to the front. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much that one. As we go through, we enter the master bedroom. Um, now, as you can see through here, the, the, the home and right through the home, um, it is immaculate. Like you've got skirting boards, all your paint, there's not a mark on the wall, um, all the carpets, pristine. Um, so there's, it's like a new home really at the end of the day. So you can see nice feature windows. Once again, your um, plantation style shutters through there come through there is a door here as well which is is a really cool little door actually so it's made similar to the plantation shutter blind so you've got you've got that um, but you can also shut them right off and that basically leads into the full walk-in robe so and you've got uh, quite a high shelf through here also a double shelf down the bottom um, all this hanging space plus shelf at the top and then sort of a basket drawer style through the bottom there as well Head through to the ensuite. The toilet is almost separate to some degree and also has the, the privacy door and also the plantation style shutters through there as well. Um, all flat down lights throughout. Then the, uh, the ensuite. So you can see all stone bench tops. You've got plenty of drawers, plenty of cupboards. Um, all the, uh, the basins are recessed under the stone, which is a nice feature as well. And then very much just very neutral modern colours. So you can see that there. Quite a big shower, glass screens, and you've also got, even in the shower, you've got the plantation style shutters there. So we'll head back through. 
go into the, uh, the main living sort of area of the home. So as we head through here, so that's separated. We've got this hall area, which is really nice. And once again, you see this, there is skirting boards everywhere. Um, you do have your full reverse cycle air conditioning, heating, cooling. Um, nice sort of high ceilings as well. Um, and then you open up into this great big open area. So very much open plan living through this space, which is really nice. And, and it is really open plan. Uh, you can see the feature lighting that you've got as well, which is really nice. Um, these blinds, quite interesting as well. You can see that they're, you can do a couple of things with them. So basically there, you, you can see the lights coming right through, but you can just do that, block that out altogether, or you can just you know, let through a little bit of light, um, whatever you want, or you can lift them up altogether as well, if you like. So have a look through there. As we head through here, obviously your um, TV recessed area, um, what I've done is actually a really nice sort of, um, and this paintwork, so it's um, yeah, really nice and beautiful feature through there. And through there, there's all the small little brown lights as well. So as I said, plenty of features throughout the property. Um, we'll head out the back a little bit later. We're going to go through the kitchen and then do the minor bedrooms first. Um, we'll go from there. So you see with the kitchen, it's really very much a very long bench space. So um, there is some cupboards through here and also some bench, but you could put some more benches across if you did need more as well. Um, all the stone, there's a waterfall edge stone on there, which is really great. Um, and as we come through, you'll see a lot of the cupboard space is actually drawers, uh, which is really good because obviously for maximising space, you're not digging to the back of the cupboard, etc. So you can see that that's, um, you know, space well used. Um, got your big 900 oven, um, five burner gas cooktop. Um, now the splashback, uh, the, the owners actually created, a, or found a picture of, of bamboo. They like that um, sort of style. So they've had, had a picture and then had that splashback created and made, which is, is beautiful as well. The other thing that this kitchen has, which I haven't seen in a kitchen for a very long time, is actually a uh, teppanyaki hot plate. So you can see there you've got your teppanyaki, which is nice. If people are sitting around, that you can actually use that as well. So that's there. Yeah, very nice. Um, the other thing that you're seeing here, through here, you, you're seeing that there's no sink through this space. So what, the, um, what they've done is sort of almost like a bit of a scullery sort of style. They've set it off to the side. So you've got your, your wash sink and, uh, and that, which is once again recessed underneath the, the stone bench top. Um, beauty of that is if you've got people or you've got a bit of dishes and mess here, you're not sort of seeing that while you're entertaining or it's not in your main living area. So the kitchen always looks tidy as well. Um, has got also water filter feature there and also a nice colourful splashback, which is really nice. Just adds that bit of pop of colour into the home as well. Um, and then your fridge is also hidden behind here as well with a lot more cupboards, as you can see, and then your twin drawer dishwasher, um, which then turns around, as we turn around, leads us into the shopper's entry. So from the garage straight into the kitchen, um, you don't have to walk through the home. Now through here as well, you can see that the, um, once again, the garage is actually as immaculate as the home. Um, you can see all the, all the garage floors have been done. Um, yeah, pristine condition. Um, lots of space through here. If we turn it on the other side, you'll see they've got a little extra fridge here. Um, but they've also got a lot of storage, like a storage nook through there. And another thing I do like about this garage, although we do have the light on, um, with these windows up through the sides here, it does let a lot of natural light through the garage as well. Um, so it's really nice. It, it, during the day, you don't really have to have the light on to come in and do whatever you want to do in here. Um, also, as you can see just behind you there, there is the inverter for the solar panels. So plenty of solar panels as well on this property. Um, as I said, it's got everything. There's, there's nothing I can't think of that you'd probably want put or add to the property. Um, you've got door to the rear of the home, which also got your pet door access if you wanted that. Well, I suppose you could get rid of it if you wanted. Um, and once again, everything is just the paint and everything is brand new and immaculate. Now what you see, there is something a little bit different here. Um, and as you see, if you look behind me, I don't know if you can see that, there is a double door through there. Um, now the family sort of put that in there because the other side of that door is actually the theater room which is quite interesting. Um, but what they wanted to do and the concept and the idea behind that was that if they open those doors, they could actually use this space for when they're entertaining or having family over and that sort of thing um, as a spillover from that space as well, which I'll show you from the internal as well, which I thought was a really great idea. Just creates this as another room or an entertainment room. So if you're entertaining in the middle of winter, beautiful, you've got that extra space. So come on through, we'll have a bit of a look. Now, as we go into the, the part of the home where all the minor bedrooms are, you'll see there is this room here with a glass panel as well, which runs just off the kitchen. Uh, so it's basically like a, um, come and have a look. 
it's basically like a um, activity area or kids study area uh, or whatever you want it to be really but the, I think the beauty of that window is there especially if you do have sort of kids and they're studying or you know younger kids that are playing at least from there you can still have that supervision and see them but they still are separate to, to the rest of the home and not making a mess everywhere so that's really nice um, so we'll go through this way and this is the theatre that I was talking about so it's a little bit different with the theatre it's got a little hallway that runs into it um, and then this is the theatre room so a good sized theatre room, um, once again high ceilings and as I said there is those doors there at the back so if you wanted you know you can move your couch or do whatever or set that up, open that up and you've got that full access to through there as well. Also very handy for bringing furniture into the home and things like that I would imagine so having that level of access so that's good. All right, so that's your theatre room, we'll head through this way have a look at the minor bedrooms. Now the minor bedrooms as well are actually really, all of them are really good sized rooms so you could you, know, you, you fit queen or even king beds in here really um, to you know wouldn't be a problem once again high ceilings reverse cycle air conditioning uh, you got your down lights and your mirrored mirrored sliding robes as well so you got all that um, your full block out blinds through this end of the home and the floor windows so as we go through we'll head through this way um, and I did mention it before but as I said skirting boards follow right the way through the home there as well uh, this is the common bathroom so once again, as you can see, really nice sort of neutral colours. Um, so you can put anything in here, any coloured towels, whatever you like, is, is really going to sort of you know, work. So you've got a good size shower through there, glass screens. Um, you have got a bathtub through here as well. And also you can see you got your double covenants with, with the drawers as well. And once again, your basin is recessed under the stone through there as well, which just gives a nice cleaner Clean the finish and easier for cleaning, so um, which is really good. Come through. Uh, we're going to the second of the minor bedrooms. Um, so yeah, so once again, you can see very similar to the to the other room. It's got your your mirrored robes again, um, your down lights, a little bit of a feature wall on the back, um, which is once again nice neutral tone really, or or modern tone at the moment. Um, ties in nicely. Skirting boards right throughout. Um, same style of blind. Um, that is in the other room as well um, and as I say it is a full block out so you can bring that down and shut that out but it's also quite nice as you can see with that natural light coming through and coming through we'll go straight across the hall to the other side um, so this is the the third of the of the minor bedrooms um, once again very similar so all the bedrooms as the minors are all pretty much the same size there's not like a oh, one big room and then two average rooms or two big rooms and a small one, um, which I see a lot of. Uh, this has got all good size rooms in it. Once again, your double glass robe, skirting boards right throughout, immaculate carpet, um, you know, good quality paint, reverse cycle air conditioning. You've got your full shutout blind through there. Um, and this one, actually from laying in your bed looking straight out, has got really the most beautiful sort of view out there with the water feature, etc. cetera, is, um, is really nice, which we'll, we'll head out there and have, have a bit of a look in a minute. Then. So that's the minor bedrooms, and I just want to take you to the to the laundry setup. Now, with the um, before heading to the laundry, there is the the common toilet, um, which is actually really good. It's more like a powder room, so it does have your sink in it, um, your um, plantation shutter style as well through there. Um, has got a hanging towel rail and a few towels extra, so there's plenty of room in here. Set that up the way you like, um, and then straight into the laundry. So the laundry once again. Um, you've got a full bench, quite a nice height there with that as well. Um, you've got all your cupboards through there, nice big window across the top, letting that natural light through again. Um, and then as we go through, you can see there's also quite a uh, large linen sort of cupboard in here as well. So plenty of storage in this home. So I haven't, as I said, haven't forgotten anything. So we'll head through, we'll go to the backyard, uh, have a bit of a look out the back and uh, yeah, go from there. Yeah. But as I said, nothing, nothing to fault in this home. So, yeah, head back through here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the other thing that's got, just before we head out the backyard, um, we've got uh, the uh, wood fireplace as well. Uh, now, beautiful these. I mean, you can imagine in the winter, this space through here, this the going, it would really sort of heat it up nicely and, and be beautiful. So we'll head out the back, have a quick look. So with the back, once again, you can see it's got similar blinds which are through here. Um, also has got the security shutters, so you can leave them, lock them shut, and also 
uh, let that air and breeze sort of come through. There is a nice water feature out the back as well. I don't know if you can hear that, but I can, from here I can hear that very clearly. Um, and basically it just gives a nice feeling through here as well. So we head out to the back. Head out this way. So basically you've got fully decked floor. Now with the decking as well, it does have the little um, spotlights as well through it. So you can imagine at night, this is going to be really nice in, in, in this area. They've also got this... Um, once again, wood fireplace, which is all sort of beautiful cladded stone through there. Um, and then they've got this side as well, which I suppose you could put put a hot plate or, or a little grill plate for, you know, if you wanted to do some like kebab style things or, or, or that kind of thing. Um, yeah, so really nice, beautiful feature and I love that stone look as well. Um, so even with that as that sort of set up with the barbecue, if we have a look straight across the other side, you do have the fully modern outdoor kitchen style as well, which has got water. You have got a fridge and full barbecue and also range hood there as well. You've got through the, obviously the, the alfresco through here is built off the main roof as well. So it's not an added on thing. It's just um, under the main roof. Um, there is ceiling fans there and also your down lights as well. And also just in the corner as well, there is sort of a bit of extra down lights through there as well. Um, what we'll do, just before we head through this way, I'm just gonna take you down the side of the home here quickly. So through the, through the side, you've got all these um, planter boxes through the side, which, I mean, you can do anything with them, but ultimately great if you like your, your fruit and veggies and, you know, that sort of thing. Obviously, they've got a few things going on there with the curry leaves and the banana tree and uh, yeah, a bit of rosemary there as well. So, yeah, so you can see you can plant out whatever you wanted through here, a little bit of a you know edible garden and such. Um, so from there, we'll go across and out to the other side. Um, this is quite nice as well. So we've got this gazebo area with, um, and it's got the festoon lights around it. So once again, you can imagine it's really nice at night time, sort of through there, and basically just a, a spa sort of setup through there. So really nice, and with the trees and plants around, it's actually quite private as well, which is nice. Um, head through this way. Um, you can see once again, as I spoke about the aggregate out the front, same running through the back. You can see there's a lot of um, feature the way they've done it. Um, you know, there's been a lot of thought and love and care sort of put into this home. And uh, once again, you can see that through the path. You have got artificial turf through here. So once again, low maintenance um, and then you know, a bit of wood chip stone and this beautiful water feature, which I mentioned when I was in the living space, you can actually hear that so nicely inside. Um, and from the third minor bedroom, you've also got that view and sound of this as well. Um, and that's obviously the, the entrance into the spa. We'll head across this way. Um, so once again, you can see this is really low maintenance. You have got your sail shade across here as well. So if you did want that extra, you know, light or sun coming through, you can obviously remove that, put that back, like the one at the front that's not up at the moment, um, but you can put that up. They've got these hedges up, which is quite nice and high as well, gives you good privacy. Um, and then also storage shed. So nice, good size storage shed, and is also sort of out of the way of your main entertaining and, and things like that. So, um, you know, beautiful there. We'll head right around. So you can see right the way through, there is the uh, the limestone, poured limestone right the way through. Um, and that just leads us back up to the garage door, which had the little doggy door in it through there. Um, and along this side is all your like your reverse cycle air conditioning motor and stuff like that. But they do have, as you can see there, a, a quite a significant size of rainwater tank. Um, so plenty of rainwater and that sort of thing, which is always nice to have these days. Um, and also there is, um, as you can see, straight above my head is security cameras as well. Um, through the property. So as I said, this property has got absolutely everything. There's nothing that you could possibly want to put in. Um, as I said, if you, the, only, the only thing is if you did want to put a swimming pool in, you could do that. Um, and there's, there's, once again, there is room to do that as well, if that's something that you really wanted. Um, yeah, so, yeah, so that's pretty much it. So, yeah, so basically that's pretty much the property throughout. So we've got um, 539 square metres of land. Um, I think the home, the internal living of the home is around about 255 as internal living. Um, that's not our fresco garage. Um, and then also, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. So if there's any other questions on this property, um, I've run through and shown you basic features. Uh, there is a list of so many more things that are in this property. Um, if you are interested in it or want to know more about it, just reach out, let me know. Uh, you can either direct message me, give me a call, or put, just put a message on the post. Thank you.